Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and today is a meal prep video. Um, I told you guys I was going to start filming my meal preps, you know, showing you guys how I prep my meals for uh, the meals that I cook for the channel. So, today we have the boneless, skinless chicken breast. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get them prepared uh, for tomorrow's uh, meal. Y'all know I like to marinate, season my chicken a day or two ahead. So, let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead. I've got my chicken all cleaned. All that's all taken care of. I did all that. Y'all know how to clean your chicken, clean your food, how you want to clean your food. So, I've already did all that. Now, I'm getting ready to butterfly the chicken breast. And let's get into it. Alright, I like starting on the fat side. The fat side. Make sure you got your nice sharp knife. I like starting here on the fat side like this. Let me show you guys. And I just cut across like that. Real easy. Easy peasy. Just like that. I start on that fat side, of course. And you've got your butterfly chicken. All nicely butterfly for you, just that quick. You've got that fat chicken breast, now it's all nicely butterfly for us. And of course, you guys that are watching this, you have to make sure you come back and see what it is that I actually cook with this uh, chicken. So, easy, simple as that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it over here into my bowl. And I don't have that many. I have one, two, three, four, five. I've got six uh, chicken breasts. Publix had these on sale. Uh, buy one, get one. Which is pretty good for me. Because, you know, they always want to charge you all this money for me. But that's one thing I like about Publix. They're BOGOs. Where you're going to find um, a six-pack of boneless, skinless chicken breasts where you can buy one and you get one for free. People ain't really doing that. but So that's why you got to catch the sales when you catch the sales. All right. Let's go ahead. I don't want to make this a long video. All right. Get that all nicely cut. And I just kind of like do like that down the middle, you know, to help the other side fold down. And you've got some beautiful chicken breasts. You know, it's easy to do. Nicely butterfly. Now, I could take this. You know, I am going to do that. I could take this and um, split it in half because these chicken pieces are really big so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so see actually we've made two pieces out of one look at that nice and it's thick enough two pieces yeah I'm gonna do that I think that's better and you know what I get more bang for my buck all right let me get this done Quick and easy. All right, cut that in half. Easy peasy, just like that. All right, get these done. And of course, y'all see I got my seasons already ready already. They are ready and lined up. Cut that in half. I love to let my um, meat marinate. I love it. Like all that season gets to soak in, you know. Makes your food taste so much better. And then you know what? That way you're not over seasoning, you know. I know sometimes we can over season. Y'all know that's true. Sometimes we can really do the most when it comes to that seasoning. But if you season your meat and you let it marinate overnight. You know, that way your meat's soaking in all the juices and stuff of that meat. Wait, well, got a little bone right there. Wait a minute, Publix. Got a little piece of bone right here. All right. That's why we prepping. You get that cut out. Little piece of bone left behind. We'll get it out. No big deal. All right. So, let's get this all nicely butterflied over here. 
right. Almost finished with this. Okay. All right. So, okay. So we got everything all nicely butterflied. And you know what I like to do too? I like to take the tip of my knife and I like doing like this. Just, you know, it's kind of like you're tenderizing a steak. But you know what? This does make your, I mean, we know chicken isn't tough. We know that. But this just allows your seasons to soak in real good and, you know, everything gets all nice and seasoned. And this does make your um, chicken more juicier and uh, more tender and just, just do it. We'll try it. Just something I do. You know, we do it with steaks. We know chicken isn't that, you know, chicken isn't that um, tough like a steak, but let me get these all out. I'm gonna line these up so I can just run my knife across them. Yeah, just kind of, you know, do like that. I'm telling you, it makes a big difference. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit it over there. I don't need to get these seasoned, so just something you can do real quick. Just run your knife through like that. I'm telling y'all, makes a difference. Cause we need those seasons to soak on in. We need all the juices and stuff when we cook it. You know, that allows the juices and everything to pass through. Helps your chicken stay nice and juicy and moistened. You know, just little things you learn from cooking so much, you know. But yes, y'all definitely have to come back and see what it is that I'm going to be cooking with these uh, chicken breasts. Of course, I will have this meal prep video scheduled before, you know, what I'm actually cooking. So, you see the meal prep video. And then you guys come back and check out, you know, what I use these for. It's gonna be real good. So that's all I'm telling y'all. Yesterday I baked some um, some of my homemade chocolate chip cookies. I'll give you guys a look at that. I baked my chocolate chip cookies on the channel before, so I didn't record it yesterday. But I do have, you know, a video on the channel of me cooking, you know, my homemade um, homemade chocolate chip cookies. You know, over time, I've tweaked my recipe so many times. So, you know how that is. And I like leaving a little fat on my chicken. You know, you know, some people cut away all the fat. I cut away most of it. Well, you know, these are already boneless, skinless, but sometimes they do have extra fat. So I do take some of the fat off, but I do like leaving a little fat on my meat. Just, you know, I like it helps with the flavor and so I do leave a little fat on my chicken all right we are almost finished getting all that all nice you know just stab it with your knife nothing fancy all right we got well, I think I already did these two you already did these two okay so I've already did those two let me move my cutting board. I'm going to bring my bowl over. Wash my hands. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring my bowl over now. Get that little bit of fat out of there. Okay. So. All right. So we got my bowl. Y'all know I love uh, seasoning. This is my meat bowl. I think I'd be preparing my uh, macaroni and cheese in this bowl too. It's just a big bowl. But I usually just use this bowl for... Uh, my meat when I'm seasoning and prepping my meat. So, all right, I'll show you guys what I'm using. I've got the McCormick garlic powder. Wait, I gotta go get. Hold on one second, y'all. I forgot one season here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. All right, because I've already got a garlic powder out here. Yeah, I've got the McCormick garlic powder. Okay, let me move this out of the way. So, let me get this open. Hold on. Okay. Alright, here we go. Alright, so the first thing I got 
is the McCormick garlic powder. Sprinkle a little bit of that down in our bowl. All right, I've got some McCormick onions, minced onions. A little bit of those drop down in there. All right, I got some Morton seasoned salt. The all you know, the all purpose, you know, all the seasons in there. Sprinkle a little bit of that down in there. And of course, this container, it used to be a Morton uh, season, but I use it for my salt. So I just wrote salt across it. Because you know that big salt container, just too big. It just, I ain't got time to be moving that around. So I just put some salt in here. Bootleg, I know. Y'all know how we be doing stuff. And I've got some ground uh, pepper. Don't want to do too much when you're seasoning, you know. Y'all know, sometimes we over season. We do too much. We do too much on that season. Y'all know I like my seasons. Okay, all right. And these are just some parsley flakes. Y'all know I love um, my seasons. Y'all know, but sometimes we can be a little heavy on the seasoning. All right, and I've got some Trader Joe's Green Goddess Seasoning Blend. Y'all know I love this uh, seasoning blend. It's filled with a lot of good stuff. So I'm going to leave that. And the last thing I have is some McCormick Organic um, Smoked Paprika. Make sure y'all can see that. I don't know what angle my camera is at. But anyway. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Okay. So. Let me get my hands washed again. Hold on y'all. Okay, all right, so we got all, all our seasons sprinkled down in there. Just lay my chicken down in there like that, you know. Okay. Just showing y'all how I do it. So I got a layer of the chicken down in there. All right, let's see. chicken around like that okay so and then I'm just gonna do another layer of the season not too much because we're gonna mix this all up not too much y'all let's see oh I forgot to tell y'all I am putting some Old Bay Old Bay seasoning in here I know people usually use this for uh, seafood but I use it for my chicken too it's a season and it tastes good all right so just putting my seasons back in here, the same ones. Just doing a repeat for this other side over here. All right. Okay. Doing some onions. Minced onions and uh oh, lost my onions. I'm doing some garlic powder. Okay, and then we're gonna put that second layer down for our last layer. Down like that, like that. Okay, and then. Okay, got that down. Let me move this out of our way. This table is too crowded. All right, okay, y'all can still see. And we're just gonna put another little small layer across our meat like this. And we're just doing a thin layer, so this isn't a lot of season. But it is enough, because you know we want our food seasoned. Don't get it twisted now. Don't get it twisted what I was saying. We want our food seasoned. But sometimes we can over season. Alright. 
Okay, I will say that. Got some paprika across here like that. Okay. That old bay in there. Got that old bay. Y'all know what I say about that old bay, child. He an old bay. Don't nobody want him no more. <laughs> he an old bay. He an old bay. All right. And we got that ground pepper. Get that going across the top. All right. And our mixed onions last. Okay. All right. So, good. We got all our seasons on there. All our seasons. Give y'all a close-up of all that goodness. Looks good. Looks delicious. Okay. So, and basically all I do, let me get my bowl over here. This is the bowl I'm going to be putting the chicken in. All right. Let's scoot our seasons over here. Move these out the way. Okay. All right. So. So. All right. So. All I'm going to do. Just move this around with my hands. Just going to move it around like that. Toss our chicken around. We want to make sure everything gets all nicely coated. Make sure everybody getting seasoned and stuff. Rubbing that season in. Everybody's looking good. Make sure we get that season from the bottom. Scraped up. I'm telling you, that knife, you know, stabbing your chicken with a knife makes all of the difference. It makes your chicken more moist, juicy, tender. You know, y'all definitely got to try that. I mean, if you ain't already doing it, but. Yeah, everybody's looking good. I just like to check both sides of the meat. Make sure everybody. Got seasons everywhere. Okay. Looking good. And just kind of toss it around. Got some season at the bottom here I need to get up. Okay, let's get that. I don't want to leave nothing behind. Okay. Make sure everybody getting seasoned up here. Everybody looks good. You guys can see. Need a little bit more season over here. Okay, all right. Everybody looks good. Y'all look close up. Everybody looks good. Oh yeah, looking good. All right, so I will go ahead and layer it in my bowl. Put it down in my bowl there. Oh yeah. Looks good, smells good. Y'all definitely gotta come back and see how I'm gonna be cooking these up. They look delicious. I'm ready to eat already. Let's flip that over. Okay. Looking good. Everybody looks amazing. Let's get a little bit more season on the side of this. this. Looks like it's missing a little season. Okay. All right. We'll move this out of the way. All right. And that is our meal prep. And this will go in the refrigerator, like I said, uh, for today and tomorrow. No, today, because I'm cooking this tomorrow. So yeah, that's it. It'll. It's early in the morning. Early. I'm still half asleep. But anyway. We're going to go ahead and put this in the uh, refrigerator and it will be there all day and then tomorrow uh, afternoon when I cook, it's been marinating long enough to soak in those juices. So let me go ahead and get my hands washed and I will cut this camera off. Make sure you guys come back and see what it is that I am cooking. You guys are going to love it. I'm always trying to come up with new stuff to cook for the channel you know i can only cook you know stuff that we like you know i don't want to sit here and cook a full meal and it's not something that me or the family likes you know so all right guys this is Arika misha thank you so much for watching don't forget to go in that description box click on the link to my other channel guys go over there show me some love and support as well and yeah we've got our boneless skinless chicken uh prep come back and see what i'm cooking thanks guys